brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So when I wrote the first book I ever wrote, Financial Peace, in 1994, raise your hand if you weren't born yet. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> they did in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I wrote that book, I proposed a concept in our seminars that we were doing in those days and in it was a different world in 1994 sure yeah um and the I, 90s are back a little bit i we proposed a concept flare. and i got so much one of the first times i got just showered in hate oh i can't wait it was fabulous and so the concept was this and I don't remember the exact numbers, but they were a whole lot lower than they are today. So I'll make up some numbers that would be similar to what they probably were. I said something like, if a lady is making $30,000 a year at her job, she has two kids and daycare is $1,000 a month, and she buys clothing, professional clothing to go to that job, and she dry cleans the professional because in the nineties you were wearing suits to go to that job for a lot of places. Well, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't wearing sweatpants to work in those days, <laughs> or your pajamas. Um, and so uh, it's a different world, like I said. <laughs> and if she were, and if because she was working, she didn't prepare meals from scratch at home because time and fatigue. The family would go out to eat more, and they would spend not from scratch, but just spend, meaning like well, home cooked meal. Spend more on uh, it, pre-prepared things or going out to eat. Yeah. Because of fatigue. Ordering pizza because I'm tired and I don't feel like cooking. Or the husband is choosing not to cook. Yes. Well, keep going. whatever. I'm just saying. And so uh, 1994. I know. Okay? This is the night. So just hang with me here. <laughs> but uh, I, And I propose that if you add all of these things up, making $28,000 a year, paying $1,000 a month for child care, these other things added in after taxes yeah. come out and gasoline to drive to said job and wear and tear on the car to drive to said job, when you take all of those things out, she's probably losing money working. And it might be cheaper, net, 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 to stay home with the kids if she wants to. I didn't say she should be at home barefoot and pregnant. I did not say that. I said if she chooses to and wants to be at home. Now, people said I said a lot of things I didn't say, but that's exactly what I said. But even on the premise that she can't afford she's not making enough to justify working yes or he's with not the making, expenses yes, yes. with the expenses yep. at that time yeah and i caught hell for suggesting that net of daycare net of all these other expenses she might not be making anything as you know because i did some math and dad blame if i didn't get blamed <laughs> for the other side of that not that but the other way of what? Of, of not understanding the cost of daycare and that you can't afford to work because of the cost of daycare. The stinking Wall Street Journal. Some woman writes an article trashing me. Recently, not in 94. No, just the other day. <laughs> just the other day. Said I said on the air that, that women, that they can't, that, that daycare is, is ridiculous and so you just need to shut up and go to work. I didn't say that at all. I've said quite the opposite since 1990 freaking four. And I get, I don't, if you're going to hate me, hate me for the right thing. Okay, if you're going to well, bitch about was, something Dave no, said, think, pick, uh, pick out something he actually said. Okay? okay, but I think they clipped. I think there was a clip of you saying that's a ridiculous amount to pay for child care. And they clipped that not knowing the whole call. Well, that, and, of course, and that because specific, it's the freaking media. I know, but that specific. And some idiot on TikTok. Got, yes, that specific guy was paying. He was, But he was paying like $28,000 for one kid. Yeah. That is dumb. Well, I don't. Yes, average no, right now. Yes, average right now is sixteen thousand. Yes. Okay. So depending on where you are, if you're in New York City in Manhattan, that is going to look different. No, that guy was calling in. He was trying to put his kid in. I don't remember. Gucci I don't remember. Daycare. I'm just telling. No, I don't know. It was Gucci daycare. <laughs> I don't know. He was signing up for. I don't know. He his upper lip was sunburned because his nose was in the air. We don't know that. Yes, I do. No, we don't. No, yes. we don't. But I am Seven, not. I was. I, I'm on quite the other side of what I got blamed for, which is what I'm upset for. I, I did not, I mean, all I'm talking about, that particular instance, it's like somebody calling up and going, I'm paying $46,000 a year for my child to attend a private elementary school, and I make 
sixty thousand dollars a year what do you think of that i think you're a moron that's what i think of that okay you can't do math your kids shouldn't be in a school that fancy okay because you're just stuck up that's all that is and it, that's what this guy was it had nothing to do with the actual cost of daycare i think i think the thing is it is such a it's such a hard subject because unlike 94 you fast forward to today, where it is. It's it's like childcare. It's I think it's, it's ludicrous. Thirty to almost forty percent in some areas since like 2019. Like yeah, it really it's going is up crazy. faster than tuition. I I under I know that. Yeah, for working moms and so and parents. So but he, no, it's not different than 94. So the exact same thing is true. Some people now with the cost of daycare aren't making money. That's right. After I agree. They, after I they totally agree. And so I'm still saying the same thing. Yes. No. I know. I but know. But now I'm getting hated for saying the other thing that I didn't say. <laughs> I know, but I think too, the conversation of a household income, because so many families are dual income and a lot of families are dual income and make on average, right? Like in that, in that 60, 70 range yep. per year. Yep. And then in order to pay the mortgage and have the food, I mean, like there and is these a, days, mama might be making more than daddy. A hundred percent. Not unusual at all. Oh yeah. That's the other option is that, that the that the spouse the dad, who's the making dad is more, the one that goes home. I don't that's care. Right. That's not the point. It's yeah. a math thing is all that's I'm right. looking at. And the problem is, though, again, people are, are getting to this place now because it's risen so quickly that it oh, is hard that they're having to look now at exactly what you're saying at the options of like, oh, my gosh. And I've known some moms that they're like, I got to go home. Like, I have three kids under the age of five. And we can't, can't afford it. Literally can't afford it. Or, you, or make a, you make $40,000 a year today and you have three kids under the age of five in daycare. You're not making money. I know. That's that 1994 and so example what sucks about, on, uh, in $24. Right, right. 2024 I know. I, mean, I know. And there's some the other, there's some, you know, other ways you can look at it. I mean, there's You've got to find an alternative child care situation if you're going to work in that situation. Yes, yes. Because, and, of, because you're not actually making money. Yep. You're working and going backwards. And what's hard is for the single mom, too, who doesn't. Oh, it's almost impossible. Yeah, who almost doesn't even have that option. But here's the other thing. The, uh, 16000 is the average nationally. This yep. includes expensive markets, yes. inexpensive markets. Yes. yes, And it includes expensive daycares and inexpensive daycares. And so there's a lot of ways to skin the cat. There's yep. a lot of ways to take care of the kids. But it is a valid thing to sit and look at it as a family and make and make a call Decisions. in the values, yes. But people don't use, they, they get emotional because it's a, the issue is their children and, you want and the their, best their brains for your kids. melt down yeah. and they quit doing math. Because as a mom with little kids who works, you, walk, you go through some of these places, you're like, I don't want to, I don't feel good, comfortable sending my kid here too, then right? Then so don't. There's a, I know, I know. But it's the idea that it's, it's, a, it's a hard subject for a lot of people. <laughs> it is hard. It is. The trick is to not be irrational and justify stupid numbers because you love your children love of your children does not make math go away math still will roost it'll still come home so we want to help you face this high cost and if you go to ramseysolutions.com we have a blog there called 13 ways to afford the high cost of child care almost like everyone at ramsey knows that child care <laughs> I know is high. Wants, yes. <laughs> Just in case some of you on TikTok weren't listening, <laughs> we're aware that child care cost is high, but that does not mean that you suddenly get a pass on math. The cost of real estate in Manhattan is high, but some of you can't afford to live there because of math. It's that simple. The cost yep. of real estate in Tokyo is high, and some of you can't afford to live there because of math. So we'll help you with this, and but I'm not going to help you with denial or the system's broken, so I'm going to ignore math. No, that's not what you. We're not going to yep. go down that alley. No, but there are some there are some different ways, creative ways to kind of look at it. And one of the options is what we talked about in the last segment was maybe one one. Uh, parent decides to stay home, right? Like maybe it gets to a point that's that a valid like, option. Yeah. So and there's here's that. the Let's interesting sure. thing. I'll add one more thing. I said we weren't going to extend the rent, but now we are. Okay. <laughs> there are parents out there right now uh, with this thing. You and I have talked about this at length. Mom guilt. If you work, you're guilty because you're not home. If you're home, you feel guilty because you're not working. Moms can't win. Yep. They got yep. guilt either way. 
society and on, heaps it on them. They help heap it on themselves. If I'm at work, I feel guilty because I'm not home with the kids. If I'm at home with the kids, I feel guilty because I'm not using my degree and I'm not out making money. And so you just can't get away from it. Guys don't struggle from this, most, by and large. Yeah, by and the large. mom guilt is The yeah, mom guilt is than, a very real thing. Yeah. So in the midst of that statement, there are ladies who really would prefer – to be at home with their children oh, sure, yeah, and have never sat down and done the math that says you should be. Mm-hmm. And so this sets you free. Because stay at home I want to set you free if that's you. Yes. If, you, if you're a professional lady, Rachel's in the workplace. My other daughter works. If you're a professional lady in the workplace, I'm not trying, we're not trying to say you should go home or you're not a good mom. Mm-hmm. We're not saying that at all. We're saying if that's your choice to be at home, but you feel like you should, that the family needs money for working, and yet you're not netting anything. I'm. This math is going to give you permission to go home. Yes, there's that's a value, a dollar value for stay-at-home moms. The Ex- amount of work oh, that they do, no yeah, question for sure. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.